Hi, I'm Andy Opsahl, Green Technology Editor for Government Technology. The Energy Information Administration projects a 40% increase of electricity usage in the next 25 years. With growing demand for carbon-free energy sources, some utilities are considering more nuclear power plants to satisfy that need. Behind me is the Rancho Seco Nuclear Power Plant in Sacramento County, California. In 1966, the Sacramento Municipal Utility District, SMUD, purchased 2,100 acres here for this plant. Rancho Seco began commercial operation on April 17, 1977. However, the plant suffered a poor operating history. Its lifetime capacity average was only 39%. Most plants at that time had roughly a 60% average. Due to this poor operating history and increasing costs, the plant was closed by public vote on June 6, 1989. Its operating license didn't expire until October 11, 2008. Decommissioning activities are currently underway. Remaining will be this lake, which the plant could drain within minutes in the case of a fire at the plant. The lake continues as a hot summer weekend spot and even hosts two trout derbies every year. Don't think this area of Sacramento County is finished with carbon-free energy. Next door to the towers in a 20-acre field is an alternative form of carbon-free energy that SMUD implemented in 1984. It's a solar energy facility powered by two 1-megawatt photovoltaic plants, the largest of their kind in the United States. Rachel Hung of SMUD gave us a tour of the facility. This is our Rancho Seco facility, which actually has six different systems um, that were built in stages beginning in 1984. Over here we have Rancho Seco PV1, which was our first um, system built back in 1984, which was one of the first utility scale solar systems of its kind. It, at its installation, had um, a capacity of 1.2 megawatts, so one of the largest PV utility systems in the country. Over time it expanded um, through PV6, so we actually have six utility scale systems here, the last one which was installed in, in 2004. The plant produces roughly 3.2 megawatts of electricity. Hong offered some perspective on the impact that makes on the utility's power supply. From a utility scale solar standpoint, um, our utility scale solar combined consisting of both our Rancho Seco facility, which has six arrays, as well as our hedge facility, which has two arrays, um, makes up about 44% of our production, our generation um, in 2006 from a solar generation standpoint. But out of SMUD's own generation, which includes our natural gas facility and so on and so forth, it only makes about 0.05%. Hong said the solar plant is most productive during the summer months, which is useful since that is when electricity demand is the highest. Solar works very well with this in that it generates the most amount of power during those high summer months of June, July, and August. The peak load for SMUD is actually in the later part of the day, the 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, when people come home from work and crank on their air conditioners in the summer. Um, and solar's peak isn't totally coincident with that, but it has the opportunity to benefit SMUD in um, shaving the peak load so that SMUD doesn't have to purchase very, very high cost power off of the market during those times. Hong said SMUD felt a responsibility to support solar because it is a public utility. However, she insisted that SMUD has always taken a progressive approach to power generation. As a public utility, SMUD is responsible to its ratepayers and um, with the ratepayers' degree of interest in solar power, yes, SMUD does feel a greater responsibility to solar. However, SMUD has always tried to be a forward-thinking utility and as such has had um, an interest and a commitment in renewables, seeing it as the future for, for energy. As state and federal regulations enforce greener power generation, time will show whether nuclear or renewables like solar power become the standard. This is Andy Opsahl with GTTV.